This is InfoLive TV headline news, December 8th. I'm Margot Dutkevich. U.S. Defense Secretary Robert Gates on Saturday dismissed the accusation that the United States applied a double standard on the nuclear issue by supporting Israel while calling for Iran to abandon uranium enrichment. Asked at the Manama Dialogue Conference in Bahrain whether Israel's nuclear program posed a threat to the region, Gates replied Israel is not training terrorists to subvert its neighbors. Fears of an IDF incursion into Gaza have prompted senior Islamic Jihad and Hamas officials to hold a series of intensive meetings in Damascus and the Gaza Strip aimed at reaching a ceasefire with Israel, the Al Quds Al Arabi reported Saturday. According to the London based newspaper, Hamas leader Khalad Mashal discussed the possibility of a ceasefire with Islamic Jihad head Ramadan Shalach in Damascus. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov claims recent U.S. intelligence report on Iran's nuclear program fully confirms the information that Russia received and proves that there is no military element in their nuclear program. Speaking at the NATO meeting in Brussels, Lavrov maintains Russia never had evidence showing that Iran had ever had a secret nuclear weapons program. A Hamas spokesman in Gaza denied reports in Ashaq al suggesting that a deal was in the making to free soldier Gilad Shalit and that Hamas was willing to hand over a videotape of Shalit in exchange for Israel reopening the Rafah border crossing. Israel can dream about Shalit's freedom, the spokesman Abu Abeda said, adding, the ball is in Israel's court. The Bank of Israel will begin distribution of the new two shekel coins Sunday. The coins have already been delivered to the bank branches and will soon be made available to the public. The currency will bear a pattern from an ancient Judean corn, two cornucopias with a pomegranate between them. Infolive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.